Hello friends, in this video, let us uh, have a, a discussion about how the hydraulic cylinders are controlled using limit switches and PLC. So let us start with, so let us see what is limit switch first. So the limit switches are used to detect when the object is present or absent from a particular location. They can be activated by uh, the motion of a machine or by the presence or absence of a particular object. Say if you are using these limits and uh, limit switches in the conveyor, so it can used to detect when the object is reaching to that particular location. It can stop the conveyor or it can uh, you know start the conveyor. So that uh, the filling application, the, the drilling application kind of uh, things can be done or uh, packing applications, uh, those kind of uh, labeling and uh, these kind of applications can be done. And in some applications like um, the machine motion uh, can be detected. Say, for example, the drilling machine, uh, once you uh, turn on the process, the drilling, the drill bit comes down and it makes a drill. And when it comes to the lower limit, uh, it uh, detects the limit switches and the limit switches will give the signal for the drill, uh, drilling machine to go back to the home position. So like this, <clears throat> in many applications, uh, also the limit switches can be used for detecting the machine position or a uh, the motion of the mission. Yeah, so this is a simple uh, introduction for this limit switches. So let us see one simple application for it. So I have a hydraulic cylinder here, and uh, this hydraulic cylinder is connected to hydraulic pump, and I have one uh, solenoid operated uh, DC valve, and I have two uh, limit switches. Of course, I have uh, two push buttons to start and uh, uh, stop the mission or uh, mission operation. For starting uh, purpose, we have uh, two push buttons, one for uh, making the cylinder to go up and one for making the cylinder to come down. And apart from that, I have a switch to turn off the total process. So let us see how this uh, application works and how to interface this total equipments with a, a, so a PLC. So this is the control circuit and uh, uh, of the overall circuit diagram for the said application. I have drawn the control circuit here. So you can see I have a stop push button and I have a push button to make the cylinder to go up. And I have a limit switch, which is placed in the top position or the up position. And similarly, I have another push button which uh, is used to bring the cylinder down. And I have the limit switch at the bottom, LS2. And I have a solenoid to make the liquid flow direction to change. So these are the elements. And let us see how it functions when you are operating the switches. Let us begin here. Say if I, uh, if I close this, start push button so the path here is getting closed the current will reach to this main contactor so when the main contactor is energized so this contacts here will get closed so when these contacts are getting closed the motor which is coupled with the hydraulic pump will start working so when uh, the hydraulic pump is uh, working so, so the fluid will push the cylinder upward direction. So it will say give the fluid input here so that the cylinder will go up. So when it is going up in this direction, so it will touch this limit switch LS1. So when it is reaching LS1, so here this limit switch will open like this. Since it is a normally closed switch, when you reach this position, what will happen? So this NC type of limit switch will open. So when this opens automatically, the coil will get de-energized. When the coil is de-energized, the contacts of this pump will be turned off like this. And the current flow will be stopped. The operator, when you want to bring it down, so he operates this down switch. So when he operates this down switch, here the current flow reaches to control relay. So this control relay, once it is getting energized, so the latching takes place in this path and uh, the current flow continues to go in this path in this direction and when it is coming down from this position 
the from this position it is coming down so when it is coming down it will make a contact to this limit switch here this is ls2 so when it uh, reaches to the bottom position so this ls2 will open the circuit like this so the ls2 will go like this so because of that so current flow will be stopped and you can see here uh, when the, the control relay is energized here this contact will get closed so that uh, when when the cylinder is coming back so the fluid or the liquid which is filled here in the cylinder will go through this path to the tank like this so the return path is controlled through the solenoid valve but the forward motion is not controlled through the valve so it directly connected to the cylinder so when the pump is on the fluid get into the cylinder and the cylinder makes a forward direction motion and when it is coming back we have to turn off the motor and we have to enable the solenoid so when it the uh, solenoid is uh, on automatically due to the weight of this uh, cylinder the piston and this one so automatically it comes down and the liquid goes to the return tank or the tank which is kept here okay so this is the total process now let us see how it is connected in the plc so as i said i have a two push buttons one is for up one is for down and again i have one one push button for stopping the total process and limits which is one ls1 in the top position and ls2 in the bottom position so these are the sensors which i need to connect it in the plc input module so here i have a plc input module x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 all these sensors are connected in the plc input module uh, as i told you earlier so this plc is connected in a syncing configuration the plc module is in syncing configuration so that the sensors are acting like a sourcing elements and for the output we have one pump so which need to be controlled through contactor and the another one is a solenoid so the ac the solenoid valve so for operating this motor so when uh, the conditions are uh, satisfied in the uh, run so when this uh, condition is satisfied like this so the motor will be enabled through contactor so the plc gives the output in the y0 so that the contactor is closed so when the contactor is getting closed the power will be transferred to the motor and which is coupled to the pump so that the fluid flow makes the cylinder to go up and when it is reached to the up position because of this ls1 it will break the circuit like this and the operator press the down switch here so when the operator press the down switch then control relay energizes and because of that control relay contact is getting closed and solenoid is getting energized when the solenoid is getting energized here what happens here so this solenoid when it is getting energized so due to the weight of uh, uh, cylinder piston the piston comes down and the liquid flows through the solenoid to the tank for that we we uh, directly connect the solenoid from the plc output module so again plc output module also connected in syncing configuration so these two elements are acting like a sourcing elements so this is the wiring diagram and let us see the code so the control circuit what i have drawn here that is uh, converted into the ladder logic here i have x0 up push button x1 down push button so which will bring the up and down and x2 for turn of the total process and x3 for uh, the upper position limit switch and x4 for lower position limit switch so let us see the simulation for it let us simulate it download the program keep the plc in run condition and in the monitoring mode so let me turn on this on push button that is for making the motor on so that the pump will operate so that the cylinder go up is on so because of this the pump will be on so that the liquid flow will make the cylinder to go up 
So even if I release the and from this uh, switch, so the power flow continues in this path and the pump is in on condition itself. When it is reaching to the upper position, the X3, that is a limit switch one, is getting enabled. So because of that, the power flow will stop to this coil. So this coil will be degenerated so that the pump will be off. So now the operator, let us put it back. So now the operator operates this switch. So now the control relay Y1 is energized because of that the solenoid is getting energized. So now even if the operator remove the AND from X1 or this uh, push button, the power flow continuously uh, flowing through it. And uh, when the cylinder is reaching to the bottom position, this limit switch X4 is getting enabled. So the power flow will be stopped. So this is how uh, this particular application works. Hope it is clear. It is a simple application. Let us have a, a little big uh, application or complicated application in the upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you.